Next question is from Linda. Mm -hmm. She asks, why do I want to torture myself by not dealing with the true causes of physical pain? <laughs> Sometimes I feel like saying, I don't know. <laughs> why do you want to torture yourself? Well, honestly, I can probably say for Linda, because I know Linda, uh, why she wants to torture herself rather than feel the true causes of her physical pain. Because she feels the emotions, which are the true cause of her physical pain, are mm -hmm. too hard to feel and she would prefer to torture herself than feel them. Yeah. And that's sad. Yeah. Like the fact is that many of us are so afraid of dealing with emotional pain that we'd rather harm ourselves further physically than deal with our emotional pain. Many of us would rather have cancer and die than deal with our, phys our emotional pain. Mm -hmm. And it is emotions that cause cancer. So, you know, that's a direct correlation between many of these diseases that we eventually get and also finish up dying from to our avoidance of the, of the actual emotional pain that creates them. Mm -hmm. Now, to reverse this is the real question that mm -hmm. Linda's asking. How do I reverse this problem? Well, by developing a will to actually go through emotional pain, mm -hmm. by understanding that there are huge benefits of going through emotional pain, understanding that your relationship with God is dependent upon you, we being willing to go through emotional pain. Understanding that God wants to help you go through your emotional pain. Have trust in God that God wants to help you go through emotional pain. Understand that God's universe has been created to help you release your emotional pain and so forth. Yeah. These are all things that you can start to reflect upon and develop a will, a desire enough that you're willing to go through your emotional pain rather than create physical pain. Mm -hmm. So that would be my suggestion. Allow yourself to go through the emotional pain then you will not be torturing yourself with physical pain anywhere near as much. And that's, a, that's the beautiful thing is you, you end up having, your body finishes up releasing pains and you finish up having no pain at all, in fact. With myself, I've found that that's been the case a lot. Like I had huge amounts of pain by the time I was 33 years of age and I, I did wonder many times whether I would die in my early 30s as a result of the amount of pain I was in. Mm -hmm. And... and once I started to engage my emotions, almost all of my physical pain disappeared. And it was only the emotions that I refused to engage that was causing any other physical pain other than the ones that, uh, you know, other than the one I'd gone through and released. Yeah. So I, I used to be, you know, a terribly sickly person as a result of my complete denial of my emotional pain. Mm -hmm. And at some point I had to get to the point of saying, okay, I've had enough of this now. I'm not going to do this anymore. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to choose to feel my emotional pain. Mm -hmm. I'm going to choose to go through my emotional pain no matter what it takes, no matter how long it's going to take. And I've been doing it for nearly, what, 17 years now, something like that, 18 years. Um, and it doesn't, like, there's still things I need to address and deal with myself, things that have been very stubborn. I'm now down to the things that I had that caused sickness and illness in me when I was two years of age and one year of age. So, so I'm now, I've now gotten rid of almost all the other things other than those things, but there's still obviously resistance. Yeah. And that's why I torture myself with my own physical pain because <laughs> <laughs> I'm still resisting some emotions. And I need to, and, and I, like everyone else, needs to start acknowledging at least that, that we that our physical pain is directly caused by our resistance of our emotional pain. Mm.